Let's face it, X, formerly known as Twitter, has a serious problem. On this platform, you can find hundreds of smart people worth following, but many high-profile accounts can pose a serious risk to your portfolio. Between 2021 and 2022, investors lost approximately $500 million to crypto scams on social media. It's likely that a significant portion of that money was lost on X, the favorite platform of the crypto community. Crypto Twitter is kind of like London or New York or something. Live news, drama, um, people getting stammered with wrong information. Everybody, not just the influencers, is participating in essentially a game of who can be the loudest, who can be the most convincing. So in this video, we'll explain why X is a problem for crypto investors and how to use the platform properly to avoid losing money. We spoke with top crypto influencers and social media experts to get their insights. The influencer market manipulation problem. Studies have shown that tweets from influential figures can significantly impact cryptocurrency prices, driving both trading volumes and returns. And this leads to the biggest issue plaguing crypto Twitter, market manipulation. Here's how it typically unfolds. Influential figures use their vast social media reach to generate hype around a particular crypto token they own. Their tweets spark FOMO, or fear of missing out, among their followers, driving up the token's price. Once the price peaks, these influencers quietly sell off their tokens, causing the price to crash and leaving everyday investors with worthless assets. It's been proven that relying on influencers as financial advisors is a recipe for disaster. A study found that tweets from crypto influencers often result in negative long-term outcomes. When an influencer or a very influential person tweets about a crypto asset, this crypto asset may increase in value in the very, very short term. But after a couple of minutes or after a couple of days, depending on the type of event, this flattens out and becomes obsolete after. So why do people keep trusting influencers on X for financial advice? It's because influencers build an emotional connection with their audience. They project an image of financial success that retail investors dream to replicate. The crypto influencers are trying to build a relationship with everybody you're talking to. They want you to trust them. They want you to feel like a friend. A lot of people will fall into this trap of thinking that uh, everybody's doing so much better than them all the time. Where at the end of the day, most of it's just noise. They just kind of churn and burn and they get popular based on, you know, we won on this one. We had a thousand X on this, we yada, yada, yada. And people come in and they start to believe that and they think this person has the Midas touch. Everything they touch turns to gold and it's not the case. The problem of transparency. Not all influencers on X are scammers, of course, but many engage in unethical marketing tactics. The problem is that the crypto space remains largely unregulated. That allows influencers to promote crypto projects without disclosing their conflicts of interest. The incentives are not always, and are not usually, in fact, aligned with whoever it is they're talking to. They're usually, they're usually the opposite. It's usually the case that if they're promoting something to you, that means either they've been paid so, so they've already gotten some money out of it, um, or they're trying to exit their position and uh, get out of it. One of the most notorious examples is the Save the Kids scam. Several influencers promoted the Kids token, claiming that returns would be donated to children's charities. When the token launched, its price initially skyrocketed, but quickly crashed, a classic pump and dump scheme. While it's unclear whether these influencers knowingly promoted a fraud, they certainly profited from it. Afterward, they deleted their tweets and evaded any legal responsibility. I don't know how many times I haven't counted them by people who are creating an old coin or a meme who say, Peter, we would love to have you go on Twitter and promote this. And let's say they're doing a 10 million coin float. They say, Peter, we'll give you 10,000 of these coins as your premium uh, for being involved in the project. I've never said yes to those because I think... It, I, 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 Quite frankly, I think it's unethical. So what can be done to address this issue? Some believe that X should improve its moderation efforts by removing bad actors from the platform, while others argue that regulators need to step in. We believe that it is ultimately up to the users to educate themselves and avoid losing money due to influencers. To make the most out of X without risking your investments, you need to learn how to separate the real insights from the noise. Here are a few tips to help you do just that. First, ignore conversations about prices especially when it comes to small-cap altcoins. Instead, focus on the fundamentals. 
you shouldn't be talking about the price of a specific smaller altcoin, but you should be talking about the fundamentals of the altcoin. So what do they do? What partnerships are they going to be looking at in the coming future? Second, ensure that the influencers you follow are making proper disclosures about any conflict of interest when they discuss a specific token or project. When you see someone promoting a project, there needs to be a rational, a rationale to it. Why are they promoting the project? And they should be able to clearly tell you that if your justification for getting people in is, look, last time I told you guys about blah and it did a thousand X. Next time I told you about Zada and it did a 500 X. This time I'm talking about this one. That's all, almost always means. Even if they did tell you about these things and they really did crush, they're ignoring the ones that didn't do well. Third, even if influencers aren't promoting a crypto token, always research their qualifications. Verify whether they are genuinely knowledgeable about the topic they are discussing. When I did some research on some of them, I found that they had no financial expertise at all. I thought they were simply there because they could be influencers. They were attractive people or they knew a lot of people. And to me, that's indicative of a social psychological bend rather than actual understanding of the market. Fourth, don't be lazy. You shouldn't outsource your investment decisions to influencers. X is a useful tool for getting real-time updates on everything happening in the crypto world, from market trends to emerging projects. Use it to do your own research on projects. X has been one of the, the indicators when looking at a project, whether we should invest, we look at the community's trend on X, we look at how many followers, the engagement that they have, what type of content they post, and what type of comments they get from a sense of the community. Is it just a popular dump community, or is it a community that actually cares about the product and finally, stay focused on your long-term investment plan. This will help you ignore the short-term volatility and avoid those get-rich-quick schemes while navigating Twitter. Of course, you would want to win something like a, a lottery prize overnight, but it just doesn't happen. It's it's often far too risky to, to do that. And uh, I just urge people to kind of take it slow, do their homework, and it's better to dollar cost average into something that is truly decentralized, like Bitcoin, um, again, after doing your homework. And that's it for today's video. If you found this content helpful, be sure to like and subscribe.